Hello folks, here's a short video on Simpsons Diversity Index, which is something that you need to be able to calculate when you're given data uh, about the number of species um, found in a particular region. Now, if you look up in your notes what Simpsons Diversity Index actually is, you'll find this equation, which at first glance looks a little bit horrible, but it's actually really easy to calculate. Let's be clear on what all the various bits are. So you've got two n's here, big N and little n. Now big N is the total number of all individuals, that's in all species. Now what does n minus 1 mean? Well let's just imagine this, this had a number here. If this were for example uh, 83, then n minus 1 would be 82. The brackets, the fact is outside it, just remember your GCSE maths, that means you do this number times by that number, so in the example I just gave it would be 83 times by 82. Now down here you've got little n, now what does that mean? Well, little n is the number uh, of individuals in each species. So there can actually be several little n's, or several values of little n, in a given habitat. If you've got 10 species in a given habitat, then you'll have 10 values of little n. And just like before, you have uh, the little n, n minus 1. So let's imagine that I had 23 um, individuals of one species were found. I would do 23 times 22. Now what does this sigma, this funny sort of e shape here mean? It means the sum of. Remember I said that there could be many values of little n, and therefore many little n times little n minus 1. You have to add them all up. So that's all that equation means. How do we then use this to do some calculations? Well, let me do a worked example for you. So let's imagine I go into a habitat. Here are some species roaming around, and I start collecting them. So I'm going to take a, a sample of all the individuals I can find. And these individuals are all found in different species. I'm going to group them according to each species. So there's the blue species, there's the green species, there's the orange species, the red, the yellow, and down here we have the brown species. Okay, so they are the individuals. I've captured them, I've counted them all up. I now have some data that we can use to calculate it. Okay, so let's put this in a table, shall we? Let's go. Uh, we've got the species over here. Okay, we've got blue, green. Just move that way so you can see my data table. So we've got blue, we've got green, we've got yellow. We have red, we have brown and orange. And the number that I have found is as follows. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blues. There are 3 greens. There are 3 yellows. There are 2 reds. There are 3 browns. There are 2 oranges. Okay, let's uh, release these little creatures back into the wild. Right, remember what this little number is. In each case, these are the values of n. So n minus 1 is pretty easy. It's 15, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. So now I can do n, n minus 1. So 16 times by 15. Guess what? I'm not going to do that in my head. I am going to grab a calculator. There's no prizes for doing mental arithmetic in this one. So 16 times by 15, that's 240. 3 times by 2, now I am going to take a chance to do that in my head. Uh, 2 times by 1, likewise, and there we go. Right, um, so now I've done a little bit of calculation, it's now time to start working out those parts of the equation. So remember what Simpson's Diversity Index equation was. Okay, let's, uh, let's try and work out what the top and bottom of the equation should be. Now, in order to work out big N, I need to add up all of these numbers of all of the individuals of all the species. So that is going to be 16 plus 3 
Okay, so that's 19. Uh, add another 3, that's 22. Add, uh, at the end of that, that's now going to be 24, 27, and 29. So my big N is 29. So 29 times by 28 is my big N, N minus 1. All right, underneath there. Let's do the maths. I now have to do the sum of n, n minus 1. I need to add all of these together. So 246, uh, 252, 254, 260, 262. Okay. So let's find out what it equals overall. The total value I'm going to do 29 times 28 over 262. I have a value of D of 3.1. That is the Simpsons Diversity Index for this habitat. Okay, watch it again if you didn't follow my working. Try some worked examples if you think you've got it.